Welcome to APC bro. We are doing medieval Assam history and we are doing Ahom Kingdom, the most important part of Assam history from examination point of view. If you have not gone to our previous video, please go to that. In that we have discussed from the advent of Sukafa up to Joydha Singha. Today we will be doing the other kings of the Ahom Kingdom. For a quick recap, the last king that we had discussed in the earlier video was Joydha Singha. Joydha Singhar Homoyate Mizumla attack Korisila Amar Ahom Khan Aro Gorgaon Dakhal Korisila Zitu Karna Joydha Singhar Nizor Rajdhani Eri Zabologiya Hoisila Pishat Ekhan Hondhi Hoi Mughalar Logot Zara Andarat Tiyan Ziyori Ramani Gavharuk Mughalak Dibologiya Hoisila Hondhi Mode Bohut Khini Paisa Dhan Hompoti Loi Pela Mughalay Gorgaon Eri Pela Gusi Gol Kintu Tetiyao Amar Gwahati Khan Mughalar Andarat Easila Soit Khan Soit Sana Aro Soit Firuz Adi, Hanapoti under Guahati Khan Rahi, Mughal Gusi Gusile. The next king, the Sorgo Dev who came into picture was Hokrodo Singho. Hokrodo Singho as on Bohut, Swabhimani or Hahuhi Rosasile. Teo Musulman or a Mughal or a Razatatu, Teo Hohibo Poranasile. Arzitu Teo annual tribute at a Dibologa Hisle Mughal, Hetu Dibole, Manako Dislezar, followed Mughal Aru, Amarahum Hoinor, Judah Hobola and Hokor. It was during this time that it saw the emergence of Lasit Borfukon. Lasit Borfukon was the son of Mumai Tamali Borborua. Who was Mumai Tamali Borborua? He was the first Borborua of Ahom Kingdom. Lasit Borfukon was made the Borfukon and uh, given a strong force to counter the Mughal dominance over Guwahati. Here to Homer, Amar Ahom Hoyna Goy Pelai, Bahambari, Kazolimuk, Itakuli, Bornodimuk, आरो गुवाहाटी एनेके पास्ता जगात युद्ध करिले मुगल सैन्य लगन आरो हे युद्धत सईद साना आरो सईद फिरोज खान दुइ जनके मारि पेलवा होल आरो हे मते आमार आहुम सैन्य आको गुवाहाटी खन निजर दखल लय लय आहिले वंस गुवाहाटी केम इनटु द आहुम किंगडम द मुगल एम्पायर औरंगजेब सेंट राम सिंह टू रेस्क्यू और गेट बैक गुवाहाटी राम सिंह हर लगत Tini Hazar Gura Ronua, Uthora Hazar Mati Ronua, Pundora Hazar Kuzbihar or Karihoinoa Hisil. Karihoinomane, Junne, Donukar Maribopare. With this big force, Ramsik entered into the Brahmaputra Valley in sixteen hundred sixty seven. So, this whole fight with Muslims, uh, in fact, the Mughals, started during the rule of Sokrodos Hinko. But Sokrodos Hinko died, and then Udaidita Singh became Horgadev. And during this time, during the rule of Udaidita Singh, that the Battle of Horaighat was fought in 1671. But this time the Ahoms were fully prepared. They were under the command of Lasit Borfukan and were aided by Aton Borgohai. Aton Borgohai and Lasit Borfukan were exceptionally well in their strategies and battlefield tactics. This whole Horaighat battle can be a great work of study and research. Such beautifully they have strategized the whole plan which helped the Ahums to beat the Mughals in the Horaighat battle. Ultimately the Mughals were defeated and Manas river became the border between the Mughals and the Ahum. In the initial uh, videos that we have discussed we have shown you a map of uh, various river systems of Assam. They have mentioned that Manas River was the border between Mughal and the Ahoms for a long, long time. So after the Horaighat battle, this Manas River was made the boundary between the Mughals and the Ahoms. After this uh, period of glory of Ahom king, there was a period from 1973 up to 1979 where there was a lot of turmoil in the whole Ahom kingdom. Many kings came and many kings were. Uh, killed they were uh, there was rules of the nobles so all this there was conspiracies all around so there was a time when the whole system administrative system or ahom faced big danger during it was in during this time there was a borfukon lalukhola borfukon under which there was a conspiracy and a king who ratnana singha or lora roza became the ruler now Sulikpa, uh, Lora Raza, who is also known as Sulikpa, he was very scared of the whole thing because for the last few years, lot of kings, Ahom kings were killed 
in under various conspiracies so he was afraid there was a rule in ahom uh, system that a person a royal prince who who has the potential of becoming becoming sorgodeo should not have any physical deformity only those ahom prince can become sorgodeo who doesn't have any physical deformity okay so lora rosa he was very scared of being killed or removed from the position so what he did that he color, he gave an order to maim or kill all the hair prospects like all the prince who has the potential of becoming horgodeo should be physically deformed or killed so that he doesn't have any competition left and he can secure his position as the horgodeo so this was a dark period of ahom history and it was during this time that many princes were killed there was a prince godapani who was from tungkhunya dynasty now he was also pursued by the ahom forces to be killed or to be maimed but ultimately godapani came to know that he was being searched for so he escaped to the naga hills in order to get news of godapani joymoti his wife joymoti was captured by the royal forces and was tortured to get information about godapani ami hokolwe joymoti teor khot hahok aru teor por teor je khini teo nijor swamir karane tiyak korile khini ami hokolwe jano teo jeranga pothar bahut beshi otyasar kori pele mari pelo hoisil ultimately teo mittu hoise 1680 godapani ubhoti ahile aru lorar rajar upor nijor revenge to lale godapani killed the king in 1681 লোরাজক মরা পিছত গদাপানি স্বর্গদেও হয় তেও আহোম নাম সুপাতফা আর হিন্দু নাম গদাধর সিংহ লো পেলায় রাজত্ব চলায় গদাধর সিংহক যেটা লোরা রজায় লোরা রজার সৈন্য বিচারি ফুঁছিলে তেতিয়া নগা পাহাড়ত নিজের আশ্রয় লোলে নামসাং বলে এখন একটা নগা বস্তিত এগারী নগা কুঁয়রিয়ে যার নাম কাঞ্চা আসলে সহায় করেছিলেন যেটা জয়মতীক মারি পেল হয় সিক্সটিন এইটিন তারপর গদাপানিয়ে নিজের প্রতিশোধ লোবর কারণে গোটেই ঘুরি ফুঁছিলে মনে মনে সে টাইম ভিন্ন আসলে ভিনিহি আসলে বন্দর বরফুকন কলিয়াবর বরফুকন আসলে আর গদাপানি ওসলে গিয়ে নিজের সহায় ভিক্ষা খুঁজিছিল আর বন্দর বরফুণে বহুতখি বেলেগ মানুষ লগ লাগি গদাপানি সহায় করেছিল যার ফলত গদাপানি লোরা রজাক হত্যা করে পেলে নিজে স্বর্গদে হবেন কিন্তু গদাধর সিংহ এজন বহুত বিচক্ষণ রজা আসে হি ওয়াজ ভেরি স্ট্রং উইল এন্ড হি নিউ দ্যাট ইন অর্ডার টু গেট ব্যাক আহোম ইন্টু ইটস গ্লোরিয়াস রুল হি হ্যাজ টু এন্ড দিস এরা অফ কনসপিরেসি এন্ড মিসমেনেজমেন্ট ডিউরিং দিস টাইম হোল পিরিয়ড দে ওয়ার ফিউ নোবলস লাইক লালু খলা বরফুকন দেবেরা বরবরুয়া হুয়ে ডুইং কনসপিরেসি এন্ড ক্রিয়েটিং দ্য হোল এরা অফ ডার্কনেস অফ আহোম রুল So the first thing what Godadhar Hingo did, he found out all the people who were responsible for all these conspiracies and started punishing them. He was, he did some things like, he even punished his own brother-in-law, Bondar Bharpukon, who had helped him in becoming king for conspiring against the then Horgadev. Because of the fact that Bondar Bharpukon had hit him or Sargadev, Lora Rajar, against the গদাপানি সহায় করেছিল সেই কারণে গদাপানিয়ে ভাবিলে কি এওক যদি মানে শাস্তি নিদ এই একটা নিদর্শন নহব মানুষে আগলেও এনেকে বিভিন্ন ধরনের ষড়যন্ত্র করে থাকিব সেই কারণে এটা এক্সাম্পল সেট করবেন নিজের ভিনিহিয়েক বন্দর বরফুকনকও পানিশমেন্ট দিছিল হি ওয়াজ এ ভেরি স্ট্রং উইল রুলার গদা গদাধর সিংহ হি বিলং টু টুনখুঞা ডাইনেস্টি হি সার্ভেই দ্য হোল কিংডম It was during his time that land survey was done of the entire Durong region. He shifted his capital to Bokota and he initiated the Hingori Ghor celebration. It is the ceremony which is done when a new king becomes Horgadev from the Ahoms. Though the Mughals were defeated in a Horaikot battle, they were still trying to come back into the Brahmaputra Valley. So there was a battle during the time of Godadar Hingo which is known as the Itakhuli Ron. It was in 1682, very important. Itakhuli Ron was fought in 1682 between the Mughals and the Ahoms 
and in this battle the Mughals were decisively defeated. Mughal Fauzdar Mansur Khan was defeated and Manas River was made the permanent border between the Mughals and Dahoms. This was the last battle between the Mughals and Dahoms. After that, the Mughals never dared to look into the Brahmaputra Valley. During the rule of Gadadar Hinga, Umananda was built. Umananda is the smallest river island in the world. Like Mazuli is the largest river island, Umananda is the smallest river island in the world. Keep this in mind. During his time, Dhudar Ali was built in 1687. It is a 212 kilometer long road from Komargaon in Gulahat up to Joypur in Namrup. So it's, it's a 212 kilometer long road and under Ahomala project recently the uh, Assam government have decided to rebuild it and make it a very um, good road for connecting the upper Assam districts. Okay. During the rule of Gadadar Hingha copper plates were issued for land grants and it was discovered okay so if there is a question like uh, the copper plates for land grants which are being discovered it belongs to which era it belongs to Godadar Hinga's period now one thing about Godadar Hinga was he was against the Vaishnava Vaishnava saints and he persecuted them he he wanted uh, the kingdom to go back into the olden Ahum uh, ways of life and he despised the Vaishnava saints and persecuted a number of them. Otherwise his, his rule was a glorious period in which all the instability and the darkness that came into Ahom kingdom was removed. Next king was his son. Gadara Hinga had two sons, Lai and Lasai. Lai was the elder son and Rudra Hinga was Lai. Rudra Hinga assumed the king um, assumed as the king of Ahum kingdom, his um, Ahum name was Sukrangfa. Now he was, uh, his attitude towards the Vaishnava saints was different from his father. He was a great Hindu devotee and he reversed his father's policy towards the saints and the Mahantas of Vaishnava sect. Aunyati Gukhai was reinstated and made the spiritual guide of the king. He introduced five khels, Kotoki, Kakoti, Boiragi, Khaun, Doloi. He stopped the persecution of Vaishnava's Guhais, which was started by his father. He constructed Rangpur. Okay? He constructed a new city and he wanted this city to be a city full of joy and that's why he named it Rangpur. To build this city, he brought Ghansyam Khanikar from Kuzbihar. But Ghansyam Khanikar, when he was sent back after building the city, they got some documents with him which, uh, which they assumed was uh, a, a conspirational documents and hence was punished afterward. It was during his time that the Hibohagar tank was built in 1697. Zoidol was built in 1698. Zoidol was built in the memory of his mother Zoimoti. Okay. The Namdang Hilor Haku was built in 1707 according to it this build this bridge was built overnight with the help of workers brought from bengal this bridge is still in the working state if you happen to visit sipsagar you will see this we have discussed this during the time when in our video about kosari kingdom that there was a grand darbar held in Vishwanath in 1708 under Rudra Hingha. It was during this time that Jayantia king Ram Singh and Kosari king Tamradhas tried to revolt against the Ahum king. Rudra Hingha dominated them and brought them to the Grand Darbar at Vishwanath. After that, he imposed his superiority over the two kingdoms. After Rudra Hingha, Hibo Hingha became the ruler. Now, Hibo Hingha was a very religious ruler and he someone told him that uh, there is a danger to the life of the king so in order to escape the danger what he did he placed his queen Phuleswari as the chief queen and started issuing orders or coins under both their names this was because of his superstition that he felt that there was a danger lurking over the ruler of Ahum kingdom and he can avoid it by naming his queen Fulesori as the queen. 
Parvatiya Guhai was reinstated in the Nilasal Hill. It was during his time that Hivodol was constructed near the Sipsagar tank in 1720. Hivohingo introduced the system of recording of land in state papers for the first time. Gorihagar tank and the Sivohagar tank was also built during his time. Please make note all these uh, things, the monuments that have been made under various Ahom rulers. Repeated questions are always asked under APSC. Okay. It was during his time that the Muamoria revol revolts, which shaked the entire Ahom kingdom in the later stages, was initiated. Queen Fulesori was a very stern Hakta devotee, and she didn't like the Vaishnav saints. So there was a Durga Utsav held in the Ahom kingdom in which she invited all the Vaishnava saints. A Durga Utsav was Phuleswari Kuriya ki koi le. A Bolivia Zontur Tezadi a Vaishnav Guhai hokalok phut diya le. Jitu tenlo kor dharma pori ponti. Aur bohot dhona apman husok ghatana hol jitu karne lahe lahe ata in a revolution or Armoni Hall or Zitu Pisolo, Muamoria Revolution Hall, Polygonto Hall. The next king was Promoto Hingo. He was Rudro Hingo's brother. It was during his time that the Ronghor and the Huglesser Dol was built. It was during his time that the Gorga Hingo was also, Duar was also built. Rudresser Hibo Mondir was built under his rule in the memory of his brother Rudra Hingha. So the Ronghor was built under the rule of Pramatta Hingha. But Ronghor in the initial stage was made of wood and that was built under the rule of Rudra Hingha. Pramatta Hingha built the Ronghor which we see today which is the permanent structure. Keep this in mind. The next king was Rajeshwar Hingha. He made his capital in Rangpur. Rangpur was the city which was built by Rudra Hingha, right? It was during his time that there was a novel called Kirti Sondo Gandhela and he was known as, nicknamed as Zalim Bota because imitation Ahum, because he was originally not Ahum but he gained popularity and importance under the rule of Rajeshwar Hingha and he was not a very popular ruler, novel. He caused lot of atrocities upon the common man and he was that's why called Zalim Bhatta. He burned lot of Burunjis written by Numoli Borguhai and it is said that lot of facts and figures and important historical information was lost because of this. Tolatol Ghor, Karen Ghor, this were all built under his rule. Remember Ronghor was under Pramatta Hingha. Nabograha Mandir in the Sitransal Hill, Bohista Ashram, Sitransal Mandir, our Gori Devalaya, Negating Devalaya, these all were built under Rajeshwar Hingo. Rajeshwar Hingo gave great importance into architecture and lot of important monuments were built under his rule. Okay. It was during his rule that there was an invasion of Burmese invasion into Manipur. And so the Manipur king, who was in good terms with Ahom, seeked his help. So Rajeshwar Hingo agreed to help it. So he sent an army of Ahoms to help the Manipuri king. So during when the Ahum soldiers went to Manipur to help him, they had to clear the jungles. They had to clear the jungles. They had to clear the jungles. And this is the Juddhakana name Lata Kotaran. So with the help of the Ahums, the Manipur king was able to avoid the Burmese invasion. And as a thanksgiving, he gave his princess Kulayangini to Rajeshwar Hingha. Kurangiani is a very important uh, figure in Ahom history. We will discuss it in the next slide. After Raisa Hingha, Lasmi Hingha became king. It was during his rule that the first Muamoria rebellion happened in 1769. The Muamorias defeated the Ahom army and they captured the Ahom capital and they made a um, person called Ramakanta as the king. However, 
the homes were able to get back their capital and it was during this time that Kuraingini, the Manipuri princess who was married to Rajasahinga played a big role. She killed Ramakanta and helped the Ahoms to get back their capital. And Lakshmi Singha was reinstated as the Ahom king. It was during his time that the Rajma Dol in the Rudrahagar Pukhuri was built. So the next ruler was Gorinata Hingha who ruled from 780 to 794. It was during his time that the second and the third Muhammadi rebellion uh, took place. Second Muhammadi rebellion took place in 1782 and the third in 786. It was a very difficult time for the Ahom rule because the Muhammadis almost took over the entire Ahom kingdom. It was in, during this difficult time that Punanda Buraguhai came into the picture. Like during the Horaighat battle, it was Aton Buraguhai who came into the picture and played a big role in Ahom glory. Similarly, during this difficult time, Punananda Buraguhai played a big role. It, he almost single-handedly protected the Ahom rule from the Muamoriyas. However, during the third Muamoriya rebellion, the Ahom had to take help of the British. So, Captain Wells was the person who helped Ahom in restoring the Ahom rule during the third Muamoriya rebellion. It was in 1792 that he suppressed the Muamoriyas and helped the Ahom regain their capital. The captain introduced opium cultivation in Assam for the very first time. This captain Wells, when he came to uh, the Ahom capital, he met Purnananda Buraguha. He have heard a lot of things about Purnananda Buraguha and he was so impressed meeting him. He said, Ki, oh, I was expecting an old person. Because he know Burha means old. So he said, I, he said that I expected an old person but he was quite young. So it was his first reaction when he met Purnananda Buraguhai. So what happened? This was the first time when Ahum came in contact with the East India Company or the British. And Purnananda Buraguhai and the Ahum ruler, he was very much impressed with the British forces. So in lines of the army of the East India Company, the Ahom force was created by Purnananda Buraguhai. So the, in the lines of the Western forces, a Paltan type of structure was built in which well-trained Ahom soldiers were made. And the force so formed was called the Ahom force. In this, uh, Kolya Bhumura um, uh, Borfukon also played a big role. It was during Gorina Thinga's rule that the capital of Ahom was shifted to Jorhat in 1794. So this is a very important question. When was Jorhat made the capital of Ahom in 1794? Under whose rule? It was Gorina Thinga. Okay. So Muhammad rebellion is one of the most important part from exam point of view. In almost every exam, there will be a question from the three Muhammad rebellions. Even in APSC uh, mains, you will get subjective questions from Muhammad rebellion. So the first Muhammad rebellion happened in 1769. It was under the reign of Lakshmi, Nathi, Lakshmi Hingha. It was the, it, during the first Muhammad rebellion, Kirti Sandra Gandhela played a big role. We have discussed about him uh, in the previous slide. Okay. Ramakanta was installed as the king in 1769. He was installed by the Muhammadis as the king after they captured the Ahom capital. However, the Ahoms recaptured the throne in 1770 and it was during this time uh, the Ahom queen Kurayangini played a big role. She killed Ramakanta inside the palace and helped Ahom regain its capital. The second Muhammad rebellion happened in 1782. It was under the reign in, during the reign of Gorinatha Hingha. Punanda Buraguhai tried his level best to defend the king and he played a big role. The third Muhammad rebellion took place in 1786. Uh, Bharat Singh was established by the Muhammadis as the king. To suppress the third rebellion, the king approached the British and Captain Wells brought back Gorinath on throne in 792. Okay, these are the information about Muhammad rebellion. Please make a note of it. Next king was Kamaleshwar Hingha. Now, one interesting thing is that after Kamaleshwar Hingha, the kings of the Ahom kingdom were not ceremonially um, instated as per Ahom ritual. So did, they did not have any Ahom name. Okay. So the, he only had the Hindu name Kamaleshwar Hing. That means they didn't have the Hingori Ghor ceremony. Okay. During his time, the most important thing what happened was there was a revolution of Hordotta and Birdotta. 
in the central Assam region. Okay, this revolution is in 796, and Kolya Bhumura Borfukon played a big role in curbing this revolution. He killed both Birdotto and Hordotto, and pleased with his actions, Sorgudu gave him the name Totab Bollov. It was during his time that the Bhugdoi River was dug. Bhugdoi Khan Jeta Khandi Thoka Hosile, Hedu Homer Jibla Kelba Gao, He Nodi Parot Asile, Tete He Khandi Thoka Manhukin and Rosar Manhok, Bhug Dibologa Hosil. He Kana Manu Bisa Koreze, E Nodi Kononam Bhugdoi. The next king was Sondrakanto Hingho. He was 12 years old when he became king. So he was very young, so he could not manage the royal affairs. So it was Punananda Buragohai who was guiding the king and actually carrying out his duties. So at the same time, when the king became uh, old and he could take care of the things, there were a few persons who gained importance. One of them was Satram. He was a childhood friend of the king. Now this Satram and Badan Borfukon, they both conspired against the Ahum kingdom. It was during this time that Purnanda Burahagar came to know of it. He uh, punished Satram, but Badan Borfukon knew that he will be the next target of Purnanda Burahagar. He fled to the Burmese and he asked the Burmese to attack the Ahum kingdom. So the first Burmese attack happened in 1817 and it was initiated by Badan Borfukon. हेकाने तेव मानना बनन बुली कुआ है पिसट एकन हंधी है जीतु हंधी अंडर बर्मीज खिने मान होईन अहम खन एरी पेला जाए किन्दु जुआर पिसटो बदन बहु कनर येत राजत्त सले बदन बहु ने बहु खिनी मान होग अन्नाय अभिसार करीले आरु अल्टिमेटली � ए बंगाल पुखुरीते रुपसिं सुबेदारे जिखन तरवालरे बदन बरखुनक मारिसिले हे तरवालखन धुइसिले बुली कुवा हाय हे कारणे पुखुरीतु नाम बंगाल पुखुरी आरो हे कारणे तार जोंखिनि स्थानीय लोक तेनके ए पुखुरी पानीउ ने खाय आरो ताथवा मासु ने खाय पुरोनर हिंग वाज मेड द सर्गदेव बाय रुसिनन बुरागो हाय सो बर्मीज आफ्टर द फर्स्ट बर्मीज इन्वेशन पुरोनर हिंग वाज मेड द अहोम सर्गदेव सो द लास्ट Ahum ruler was Punondo Purondor Hing. The second Burmese invasion happened in 1819. See, before this, Sandokando Hing was the Ahum Sogodeo during which time, whose time the first Burmese invasion happened. So once the Burmese there was a treaty with the Burmese that they went back, Sandokando uh, Sorgodeo Hing refused to come to the capital. So Purondor Hingho was made the King Sandrakanta Hingho was still alive, but later Sandrakanta Hingho desired to become the Ahom king and he again went to the Burmese for help. So he asked the Burmese for help due to which the second Burmese invasion happened. The Burmese general Ala Mingi with 30,000 Burmese soldiers came, soldier again came into uh, the Brahmaputra valley and captured Assam. He instated Sandrakanta Hingho as a puppet king. Okay, now when after again they installed Sandrakanta Hingho as the puppet king and they went back. But after some time Sandrakanta Hingho also didn't want to comply with all the orders of the Burmese. And hence the third Burmese invasion happened in 1821 because Sandrakanta Hingho refused to comply with the Burmese. This time Mingi, Mingi Maha Bandula was the Burmese commander under which the attack happened. Now, Zugeswar Hingho was made a nominal head by the Burmese as a puppet king. It was during this time that the Burmese went up to the British dominated areas and there was a direct conflict between the Ahoms and the, sorry, the uh, British and the Burmese. So, uh, General Archibald Campbell, he went up to the Burmese capital, he, they subdued the Burmese invasion and a treaty of Yangdabu took place in 24th Feb. 1826 under which the Ahum kingdom that is at that time Assam came under the became free from the Burmese rule. Later um, Ahum kingdom or the Assam came under British rule for that we will be discussing that in the modern Assam history part. Okay, So this was all about Ahum kingdom. There are a lot of questions that can be asked from Ahum kingdom. 
so make a note of each and every point that we have discussed in the video we'll be discussing a lot of mcqs and probable questions from this history part in our all further videos keep following our channels for those videos like and subscribe the channel please support us thank you so much